free library box that draws neighborhood children in a fluorescent neighborhood has been broken into and all of its books destroyed. New tonight, Annie Kroll talked with disappointed young readers and the woman who started it, Annie. Well, she's known as Miss Mary to the kids in her neighborhood. Mary Sullivan began this free library outside her home five years ago. She's a retired critical care nurse now facing her own medical challenges. Upset after their down the street library was damaged, I asked some of the neighborhood children why they love stopping by Miss Mary's house so much. Because I like books. And because they're fun and because I like them. Saving time and money probably. And all this. Mary Sullivan moved back to this house in Florissant after living in California for 35 years. After unpacking, her first goal five years ago was to get a free library up and running. This is just a sample of the handwritten notes thanking Mary for giving them books and supplying the popular stories like Harry Potter or even self-esteem books they request. Inheriting her childhood home, Mary says connecting with these neighborhood students makes her day. Something much needed after this former emergency nurse became the patient herself. December 20th of last year, I was diagnosed with Alzheimer's, early onset. Um, and these kids keep me going. I can't tell you, they make me smile so much. And they're, they're just so kind and sweet. And they're mad. They're mad about this library getting getting messed up. Monday morning, Mary saw all of her books thrown on the ground, ruined by the overnight rain. Mary has had to temporarily close her doors because of the incident until after the holidays. That was sad and horrible. It's a little sad and, and whoever did it, I don't know why, because I come here a lot and stuff like that, but yeah, it just messed up. A friend of Mary's has now installed four security cameras to keep a better eye on the handmade box full of books. I'm not playing. <laughs> I'm not playing. Mary says another free library had its glass shattered recently in Florissant. If you would like to donate relatively new books to Mary's free little library, you can email Mary. She'll come and pick them up right from your door. We've included her email in this story at ksdk.com.